The Cold Adventure Balaclava is one of my go-to pieces of kit. This is a super important piece of kit, and I mean kit by piece of equipment, because this is what I use to protect myself when the wind turns in my face and starts to roar. As you can see, this balaclava really goes way below my neckline, so it completely keeps the cold and the sun off. I mean, you can see how far that goes down. The side is removable here, so I can take it off and just use the balaclava by itself. I don't have to use this. This is a silicone rubber type material. It originally had a little vent in it. I removed that because it was kind of annoying. It has drilled holes in the bottom, so you can see that very well. And when I put it on here, I look like a cool sort of Darth Vader polar explorer type guy. Now, one of the things about the Cold Avenger Balaclava is if it's too warm, this thing is plain too hot. I mean, this is only good for me in cold expeditions. Now, you could see in here that there was some glue that originally held foam, but I eventually tore that out because it became gross uh, just from my breathing over using this for months and months and months. There's just no way that mouth bacteria isn't going to build up. So I just ended up tearing it out and I've never really had a need for it. So even though it does protect the nose from chafing, I did get rub marks. I'm still a little damaged, but the beak is almost good. But between this cold Avenger and then putting on a set of goggles, I can, you know, if I literally be careful about not having a gaper gap here, but instead put my goggles on to where the cold Avenger is inside the foam, I can completely or virtually all eliminate the skin exposure. The only problem I end up usually having is on the sides right here. And what I do is I just kind of crank this bad boy up and then seal it up. And that basically keeps the entire world out. Now, one of the problems is with the Cold Avenger and others like this is you have to breathe downward because the fog will come up. Now, these are pretty good. It seals up pretty well, but it's not ah, perfect. Ugh. And so sometimes the fog will come up from breathing and it will kind of fog up the goggles, but that's almost completely unavoidable. So what I learned to do is when I'm skiing and it's ultra cold, is I would actually put this up. So I kind of look like a pig, it's very funny. I put it up and just if I could set it just right, I could actually breathe down, not fog up my goggles or glasses. I would, I would just hold it like that and it would protect my mouth and uh, face from the wind, but still being able to breathe down and I didn't fog up my goggles at all. So this isn't the original design because the design fits very well. And unlike Sirius and others, I can <sighs> breathe and not feel any restriction, which is a huge bonus. So the Cold Avenger, you can see that Cold Avenger logo there is super, super good. But when it's really hard and I'm skiing hard and climbing hard, this will start to fog up my goggles. There's just no way around it. So I just simply lifted it up and breathe down and kind of tilt my head down. And that worked very, very well for me. So definitely check out links below, aaronlinstead.com slash Greenland, where you too can learn about all my cold weather camping gear. Now, uh, as, as a request to my viewership and my subscribers, uh, Fibers, is please uh, leave in the comments below ideas for other videos. A couple of people asked about summer stuff. I've been busy all summer, but I'll try and get to some uh, more calm weather camping just to give you some ideas of things that I do. I've still got fibers in my mouth. So thank you very much for watching. I always look forward to your comments. And when you put ideas for videos in there, I do everything that I can for you to try and make that video so you can get the answers that you need and learn from a little bit of experience so you too can enjoy your outdoor fun. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel so you can get more info like this on the Cold Adventure Darth Vader.